Good day, guys. I'm trying to make a guide video about how to utilize your Android. Here I'm using my uh, Pocophone, Pocophone F1 from Xiaomi to feed the screen to any kind of capture card. Here I'm using uh, Avermedia Live Gamer Portable 2. You can use yours like Elgato or in Indonesia you might find this Praxis now have their own uh, capture card. So we usually know that um, iPhone have better uh, compatibility to feed your screen to HDMI feed but for Android phone it, it, it might work but you need to, to tweak it a little bit. Uh, any kind of Android, of course. Uh, I know some Samsung phone or Huawei phone. They are able to give out signal from their USB Type C to HDMI. But for a normal phone like this one, Poco Poco Phone F1, they don't they don't have this uh, capability. So it's not entirely impossible to do it. We are still able to do it if we know how to work around it. So I want to show it to you guys right here i have this avermedia setup the usb cable is connected to the pc and the hdmi port uh, here is right now it's not connected to anything so you can see that on my main screen it gives out no signal what we need to do is use some hdmi adapter all right there's the trick is here you cannot use any kind of HDMI adapter. You need to use specific uh, chipset within this adapter that might work with this. So I'm going to show you how it works first, then we will we'll talk about it later. The HDMI connected to the adapter, like so. So you see it's now connected. The USB port, uh, you need the USB to USB-C. OTG cable like this, right? I have this a uh, little bit long OTG cable. You can use the short one that is just a, some sort of head and you connect it to your phone, it's okay, but I, I prefer this uh, cable-like type. So all of this, you connect to your phone. And then later on, the phone will give the screen uh, signal all the way to the Avermedia, then Avermedia will give the signal all the way with USB to my PC and you can see on my OBS. Uh, the trick here is that you need some, I said before, some sort of special adapter. Connect it. And we'll uh, ask for permission. Boom. There you go. Here is my Pocophone F1 screen feeding uh, to my OBS and uh, using Avermedia Live Gamer Portable. Uh, we can do all sort of things like opening YouTube. I will just show you some of my channel for example. Of course it's feeding off uh, 180p at 60 frames per second. So you see if we move it to landscape position it's it moves on the screen as well I put it back on portrait we can we can play the game as well so I will try to open what what do I have PUBG I open PUBG there I put the phone down here so you can see what's happening on the screen and it's being feed live onto the uh, live gamer portable here and uh, goes to the OBS See, I'm opening PUBG and it's happening real time. The feed is there. So it's it's really possible to connect any Android phone to your capture card. Now we talk about how we should do it. First of all, I to concentrate, maybe I turn off this uh connection first okay so as you can see if I uh, plug it off like this the 
Live Gamer Portable giving me the no signal screen yet again. What you need is this uh, adapter, but it, it really needs to be a specific adapter. Um, the adapter, your USB to HDMI adapter must have this so-called display link uh, chipset inside it. So I buy this one. Uh, I'm not sure whether you can see the um, brand on the screen, but this one, the brand is U Green, and it has this display link chipset inside it. So with that chipset, my phone are able to feed off uh, the screen through HDMI with this specific adapter. Uh, the catch here is that you need to also install the Display Link app on your phone. The, the app is called Display Link Presenter. I'm going to show it to the screen uh, just now. All you need to do is download this Display Link Presenter uh, app for your phone. So in my Poco phone, I do have that installed. Uh, you can see here and then you open that app, give it permission to share the screen and you're good to go. So I'm using Android 10. You might try it on Android 9. I, I, I tried it before, it works uh, quite well. There's no issue there, but I've never tried it on Android 8. So you might have to try on your own. So here I'm showing you off uh, with some reference that might help you. So I'm using this one. Uh, as you can see on my screen, this Ugreen USB to HDMI uh, adapter and it is mentioning specific chipset being used there. So you, it is using this PlayLink DL3500 chipset. So this chipset is what is the most important thing that you need to look out when you are trying to find adapter that will work with your Android because without this chipset if your Android don't have this uh, technology or capability to feed off the screen to the USB port then nothing will work so with this it, it guarantees that it will work with most uh, of Android phones not only Android phones but also it will work with your PC with your laptop when you're trying to feed off your screen uh, through some HDMI port I think that's it it will work with any kind of capture card again uh, you might use Elgato you might use what else uh, Rexus in Indonesia I might I might find it interesting to buy it later and try. But what I like about this Evermedia is that it's quite portable and it has the capability to do screen capture without me having to connect it with PC. So I really like this one. The quality is also okay. So that's it guys for me. If you have any kind of question, please leave your comments below. I might be very interested to help you guys out. So cheers, bye.